Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best Warzone SMG class up in the game right now. Obviously a lot of guns got buffed and nerfed and all kinds of different changes have happened, but I finally found out the best SMG in the game. The best SMG is sort of one that not a lot of people are knowing what to use right now. I'm hearing a lot of people ask me the same question, Harry, which gun should I be using as a secondary? What are you running as a secondary? After a couple of days of messing about with attachments, different guns, class ups, I finally found the best class up, guys, and it is the Cold War MP5. Even though the Cold War MP5 has actually had a couple of nerfs, and it was still one of the best SMGs in the game. It's still probably the best SMG within the game right now. And I'm going to show you guys the class up and show you guys a bunch of clips at the end so you can work out whether you want to use that for yourself or not. Quickly before we do, jump into it, guys. If you aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on so miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash a big thumbs up as it really does help me out, guys. And let me know your thoughts on the Cold War MP5 in the comments below. I'm very interested what you guys have to say. I'm going to jump straight into it. So like I said, show you the attachments and then show you some clips at the end. So the first attachment we are going for, guys, is going to be the agency suppressor. Obviously, it's going to take you off the radar when you are shooting, which is a great thing to have on an SMG because when you're close with an enemy team when you're in the same building they're going to be calling you out as it is they might even be live tagging you and the last thing you want to be doing is also pinging up on the radar it gives them three things about to track you from whereas if you eliminate one of them and your movement's good and you get one kill and move to the next location they're not going to track you very easily and not pinging up on the radar is a massive thing it's also going to help control that vertical recoil control guys so if you do sort of get into a mid-range gunfight the recoil is not too crazy you're still going to have to hit the shots you might not get the full kill you might be able to put enough bullets into them that they try and take cover allowing you to rotate get a bit closer and finish them off with the SMG. It's going increase the bullet velocity, even the bullets aren't going to drop off. It's going to carry the damage all the way through, and it's going to increase the effective damage range. As I just said, it's going to help you win those mid-range gunfights, or at least get a couple of shots off to be able to get yourself into a different position whilst in those gunfights. Next up, guys, we're going for the Tiger Team Spotlight. It's going to increase the movement speed and the aim walking movement speed, which is basically just allows you to have better mobility on the gun. Like I keep saying, it's going to allow you to get one knock and move yourself into a better position when you're in a full team. And just be able to get yourself in an advantage point over all the enemies that you're going to be fighting within the game, just allowing you to actually pick up easier gunfights, getting behind enemy teams, just really make the game a lot easier for you to be able to pick up way more gunfights, pick up way more kills than you would have done previously, just because of the fact you've got that better movement speed, better mobility, and you're going to get around the map a lot nicer. The aim walking movement speed is great for challenging people on stairs as well because it means you can be ads walk up the stairs but at a decent speed not one where you're literally going to slowly walk up the stairs so if they're tax sprinting they're easily going to get away at least with this you've got a better chance of catching up to them and catch them out in a certain situation so definitely recommend putting the tiger team on Okay, guys, so the stocks one that's a little bit controversial. I actually usually went for the Raider stock, and before the updates and the nerfs and stuff, I went for the Raider stock. I actually now go for the No stock, and the reason for this is it just gives you a lot more mobility and, like it says, that better sprint to fire time. And for me, it just made the gun feel a bit better after the update. I don't know why. I tried the Raider stock like I normally did. It's a very similar class to what I was running, but I did change the Raider stock out for the No stock. It just felt a little bit better. The mobility felt a bit better. The sprint to fire time obviously was improved, and I just felt like I was winning more gunfights with the No stock on, especially up close. The I seem to be with the Raider stock. I'm not too sure why this was. It just genuinely felt better. I messed about with a couple of the stocks because of this, and I found that the no stock genuinely just felt the best for me, and that's why I went for that one. Next up, guys, I go for the standard 50 round drums. As you guys know, I don't like the fast mags because I can really feel the difference in fast mags between the ADS speed and the mobility. Fast mags take away from more from the mobility and the ADS speed than obviously the standards do, and that's why I go for the standards. You're not losing out on any bullets. You're just losing out on the fact that the reload speed is a bit faster with the fast mags. However, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference with the fast mags and the normal drums anyway. So I personally go for the round drums because of the fact that I can feel the difference between that and the fast mags. If you can't, it doesn't really bother you that much. You might as well go for the fast mags because you've got a quicker reload speed, allowing you to wipe a squad a little bit easier. So finally, guys, we go for the serpent grip. And as you can see, this purely improves the ADS speed of the gun. It just means you're going to ADS nice and quickly, get the first shots off and be the one to win the gunfight. It just genuinely puts you in a much better position to win gunfights because if you are the first one to ADS, you're probably the first one to get the first shots off, Mean you're more likely to have hit your own opponent a couple of times before they even hit you, putting you in a much better position to win that gunfight, and you are going to start taking people out of the game a lot, lot faster. But guys, here's a full overlook at a class app right now. If you want to pause it, go make it in your game, go and do that. Highly recommend it. Like I said, it's one of the best SMGs within the new update. I'm not too sure if it's the best right now. I'm still messing about with some of the other guns trying to get the best class outs, but this is one of the best SMGs I've tried out so far since all the updates, so highly recommend you give this a go but like i said one of the best smgs in warzone right now the cold war mp5 class up give it a try if you are new to the channel guys and you have skipped to this part of the video please make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos on the channel if you do enjoy it smash the thumbs up as it really does help me out and let me know your thoughts on this cold war mp5 in the comments below if you want to watch me live on twitch where i stream pretty much every single day my link can be found in the description alongside my social medias and other youtube channels you can guys go and check those out in the description It'd be greatly appreciated i'm gonna show you some clips now i appreciate what you want to end we'll catch you on the next one in a bit <laughs>
That's me, bro. I'll you jump. I don't think it is, mate. I'll, uh, I'll lose it. I'll bother with it. Oh, did you this kid is fucking... Hey, Kids turn my emotions, mate. Whole team here. Moving. Good, man. Good, man. Is he trying this? Is he trying this ladder? Yeah, I, I just, I just, I want to say, I just heard him. Crack him. I'm dead. Nice. Oh, he's on the roof. Oh wait. Oh, no, that's dude. me, bro. I'm pinching him. Unless he's jumped. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. He actually played for a full kill when I'm spraying him. Yeah. Right next to me. Behind this wall. Right next to me. Behind this wall. I downed one, Harry. Uh, it might sell. One on the loadout now, outside. No way, it's mantled the door there. Friendly UAV overhead. They're not very good. Yeah. Hey, Akko, what are we saying, bro? I appreciate the sub, my guy. What's that now? Eight months in a row. Jesus! Yeah. Nah. Appreciate you, brother. Bottom block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna be hitting everything, mate. Like, anything that comes to there's two of you. There's fucking two of you! Yes! <sighs> Suck your mouth. <laughs> I forgot I had them on.